Why did you come here? Because I tried to commit suicide. Yes, I knew that, of course. But what I don't know is why you tried to do this. Could you tell us how you did it? I took a, you know, dose of pills. A hundred, didn't you? A hundred, yes. Yeah. And why did you want to commit suicide? Because I didn't want to face anything. This wasn't the first time. Hmm. How often did you try? so persistently to take your own life. It's a difficult question. Yeah. I was just desperate and I didn't, I couldn't face things that had come up. So I thought the easy way out was to take pills and it would be all over. You told me the other day that you have always made every effort not to show that you are depressed. Have you always made it a point to kind of cover up your real feelings? Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's just part of me. Um, when, when I was quite young, for a time I went through a, a stage where I was a, a real monster. I, uh, I tried to, to get my mother, to get my mother's attention, which I couldn't get, and I, oh, I would break things and cry and throw tantrums and it didn't do any good and then I realized that my aunts and other people could see how hurt I was and I didn't want anyone to see to be able to tell that I was hurt so I just tried to be the opposite tried to I didn't care about anything and it worked. People believed that I didn't care. You learned to do it quite well. Yes. What did you feel like doing when you were alone? We were asked to be busy doing something. Why else? What would you be thinking about? Oh, I don't know. I can't say. Mm -hmm. I can't say what I'd be thinking about. Uh -huh. What about when you, uh, when you thought about uh, uh, going to the basement and doing something to get rid of yourself? What about that? No, I don't remember thinking about that. You don't remember thinking no. about that? No. No. Do you remember telling me about that? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. What do you think when I uh, try to remind you of it now? No, I don't like to. Eh? <laughs> I don't like to be reminded of it. You don't, eh? No. I don't like that, thoughts like that. You possibly go back to work and keep going. I had stopped work to go into the hospital because I needed, I needed some treatment. Mm -hmm. And if they weren't going to give me, she could give me a shock. But they were something. Oh, uh, I, I couldn't see how I could possibly go to work again. There was nothing that you could enjoy? Mm, absolutely could nothing. There was no one I could see that I'd be glad to see. There was nothing anybody could say that, 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 would, cheer that would cheer me. Although, as I said before, uh, I could still tell a joke. Even then? Even then I could tell a joke. And make other people laugh? Yes. Because I think the reason for that is that I'd always been known to be a joker and I enjoyed the fact that people in, in, enjoyed me mm -hmm. telling them jokes. And they would, it would give them a good impression of me. Mm -hmm. 
I think that was the reason why I could still, t I tried to, to muster up the, 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 the strength to tell a story so somebody would, would notice me. Mm -hmm. And you could do it. And I could do it. Yes, strangely. And then, in fact, some of the nurses remarked, you know, how, how well I told the story. <laughs> and, uh, and how good humored you were, I suppose. Yes. Although others, others uh, didn't understand me so well and told me to get the wrong look off my face. There was one nurse in particular, of course, I won't mention any names, but there was one nurse in particular who, who I didn't think really belonged there. And in an hospital Probably like that. No. Pardon? Probably she didn't belong there. Because uh, I, I, I was sitting there and my face was, must have been a mile long and uh, she more or less criticized me for it. She. Uh, so this is much as to say, ah, there's nothing wrong with you. What are you looking so glum about? Mm -hmm. And I, I have to believe that. I have to believe that she, she was right. That the, 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 there was really nothing wrong with me. All I had to do was be a man and snap out of it. And that made you feel worse. That it? made me feel worse. <laughs> yes. That's the sort of thing that people would do, still do quite frequently when somebody is depressed or looks that way and say, oh, well, just snap out of it, and uh, then the person feels worse because they think they should and they can't. So well, a lot of people, you know, say, oh, I feel kind of depressed today. I think everybody has ups and downs through, through, through life, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's no comparison. I had ups and downs before I ever had one of these depressions of which I'm speaking now. Mm -hmm. uh, there are no words can... can, can uh, can describe the difference between it and the ordinary ups and downs that uh, that everyone has. That everyone has, because in these ups and downs through life, you uh, you know that well tomorrow I'm going to feel better, the sun will be shining, and so on. But when you're in this type of depression I speak of, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's the black of night or whether the sun is shining, whether it's pouring rain, or whether it's snowing or anything else. Nothing looks like looks good. It's all blackness. It's, it's very difficult of putting that put thing right into words. There, there's an old saying about this place called hell where bad people go to after they're dead, after they die, that the worst part about hell is not the flames, it's the hopelessness. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the part of hell that a person in depression really tastes. The hopelessness. The hopelessness, that terrible hopelessness that comes over. Everything is black. There, nothing looks, nothing, uh, you can see, it's, there's nothing cheerful in anything. All you see, all I could see was death. Uh, for instance, I'd say, what, what's the use of, of getting up? What's the use of eating? I'm only going to die someday anyway. What's the use of doing anything? Because, it's pointless. It's all going to end in death. Whether I uh, arrange to do it to myself or whether I just sit it out 